Okay, so this is the, uh, I made a previous video called the Magnetome Project 11012, January 10th, 2012, how DNA is patterned by magnetism through north-south magnetic currents in the human body that are oriented Le right right and left or left and right that alternate left right and right left so you see you have a north magnetic pole on the left or the right and then a south and so on and then they alternate throughout the whole body the head down the arms down the torso the legs and the arms and what this is right here I'm just giving a completed drawing of this which I started in another video which shows what I'm doing but all I'm doing is drawing these lines of magnetic current from the north to north poles and to the south and to south poles and what you can see here very clearly is a magnetic patterning of and for the human body that does two things it has within it the double helix so it can explain and account for how DNA is patterned and why it is the form and shape it is. Likewise, it, you can see uh, the striations in the muscles as well, precisely why and how our muscles are shaped and formed the way they are. Also, you can see all of the, the, the more defined, more clearly defined uh, weaving and patterning of structures and the forces involved in that through magnetic currents. Now when you factor in the electrical um, flows, electrical current flows that come with it as well as any other kind of uh, frequencies, frequency effects, then you can pretty much map out the fundamental forces that shape and pattern the human body into the form that it is and this is why this is important um, and I encourage anyone who's artistic or who can do 3D modeling to take the principles that are outlined in this audio video as well as the previous one that's connected with it and basically map this out three-dimensionally this is what we need a 3D magnetic a, 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 a 3D model of how of magnetism and how it operates and structures and forms and patterns the human body. We need one that is not only magnetically accurate, but also that's mathematically accurate so it can be scientifically tested and so it can be predictable and so it can be refined and we can actually develop magnetic healing technologies as well as understanding magnetism so we can make better uh, magnetic powering systems so that's uh, that's it that's it and the date is January 10th 2012 so